So let's look at a couple more conditional probabilities. Suppose you pull two cards out of the deck. What is the probability that both are spades? Uh, so the probability that the first card is a spade, well, let's see here. There are 13 spades out of the 52 cards in the deck. So n that's the probability that the first card is a spade. So now what's the probability that the second card, second is a spade, given that the first was a spade, right? In order for both cards to come out spades, the first is going to have to be a spade and the second. And so what's the probability that the second one is a spade, given the first was? Well, in this case, uh, given that the first one was a spade, then there's now one less card in the deck and one less spade in the deck. And so 12 out of 51 is the probability of the second one being a spade. So if I want to find the probability that both are a spade, I'm going to use the conditional probability version of the multiplication rule, which says that the probability of the first event happening times the probability of the second event happening given that the first happened. So in this case, 13 out of 52 for the first spade, 12 out of 51 for the second spade gives us a probability, oopsie, gives us a probability of 156 uh, out of 2652 or 1 out of 17 or about 5.9 percent uh, probability of getting two spades uh, and when we draw two cards. Let's look at another one. Uh, if you draw two cards from the deck, what's the probability that you'll get an ace of diamonds uh, and a black card? Now this one's a little trickier because uh, the events are different. So there's two different ways that this could happen. Either we get the, we do the probability of the ace of diamonds, then the black card, uh, and then separately we need to consider the probability of getting a black card, then the ace of diamonds. Uh, because it's sort of hard to think about putting those two cases together. So here, we're going to find the probability of the ace of diamonds, then the probability of getting a black card, given that we already pulled the ace of diamonds. And then for this case, we're going to find the probability of getting a black card, then for the second event, the probability of getting the ace of diamonds, given that we already pulled a black card. Okay, so w first case here, what's the probability that we pull the ace of diamonds? Well, there's only one of them out of the deck, so 1 out of 52. How many ways could we pull a black card given that the first card was the ace of diamonds? Now, given that the first card was an ace of diamonds, there's one less card in the deck, but diamonds are not black, so there are still 26 black cards in the deck. So our probability here ends up being 26 out of uh, 2652 is 1 out of 102. Here, the probability of getting a black card on the first draw is 26 out of 52. Here, the probability of getting a ace of diamonds, given that the first card was black, if the first card was black, uh, then there's one less card in the deck, but we know the ace of diamonds is still there, so there's still one of them. And so we end up with 26 out of 2652 is 1 out of 102. So in both cases, the probability is 1 out of 102. These are two different ways that the same result could happen. Uh, so we need to add these together. And so the total probability of getting an ace of diamonds and a black card uh, is the sum of those 2 out of 102 or 1 out of 51.